All the locomotives on the Isle of Sodor like to work hard and be really useful. Yeah, how many times have you heard that sort of intro line before? It's like the Sharon Miller era all over again. Anyway, there were three locomotives that especially liked being useful. They were Poppy, Jimsy, and Quackers. I meant Percy, James, and Duck. One bright summer morning, the three engines were resting in the yard at Crosby, despite Duck still having PTSD from the barbershop crash. But hey, if he's going to be a crazy GWR supremacist, they might as well give him some comeuppance. Soon, the Fat Controller came to the yard because someone's milkshake brought him there. Percy, Duck, and James. I'm hosting my annual barbecue this weekend, and I have three specials that I want you to take. Percy, you will take some salt wagons from Ellsbridge Harbour to Maithwaite for the pretzel shop in town. Duck, you will take a coal train to Barrow in Furnesh before bringing some of the guests back as far as Vickerstown. And James, you can take Annie and Clarabel to Corvin's Gate for light maintenance. After which, they will be used to carry the guests. Are we all clear on that? Yes, sir. We will certainly do our best. If you all complete your jobs in a punctual but safe manner, I will choose one of you to pull the guests to the celebration. And what would you be celebrating, sir? You know what? I don't remember exactly. The original episode never specified what the party was for. Okay, uh, weird fourth wall breaches aside, I would like to take the guests to the party. Well, you can forget it, because that job is mine. Not if I finish first, James. Duck and James were stuck up for the rest of the day. Duck collected the coal wagons. James gathered Annie and Clarabelle. And Percy collected the salt. Unlike James and Duck, Percy was only concerned with finishing his job safely and on time. There! I delivered the salt! Now I can be on time for the barbecue! What the hell are they playing at? I get to pull the passengers. No, I do. Look out! Oh, good damn it, duck. Why did you ram me into these fucking wagons? Well, James, watch your language. This is a kid's show for Pete's sake. That is enough! Look at the mess they've made, sir. Yes, Percy, I can see that. James and duck, I am very disappointed in you too. Because of your terrible behaviour, neither of you will pull the guests to the party. That job will instead go to Percy, because he actually bothered to do a good job today. Oh sir, yes sir, thank you sir. And so, Percy got to run the barbecue special, 
and everyone had a wonderful time. Duck and James were sent to Crovin's gates for major repairs. They also had to get to therapy, because they were knocked on the smoke box so hard they thought they were the famous singers Madonna and Elvis Costello. It wasn't long before the workmen got sick of them belting out into the groove, watching the detectives and other goofy songs at the top of their non-existent lungs.